Hey guys, ignore all the noise in the background. There's going to be a lot, but I was just doing um, something real quick I thought I might like to share, and it is how to combine candles. I don't know if you're like me, you like to do candles. They get like this, if you can see, where there's just a little bit of wax in the bottom, but it either has burned uneven or it's all the way down and you're out of your wick. So what I do is I take all these and um, what I found works really well is a grapefruit spoon and you can dig the little metal thing out of the bottom that holds the wick um, or you can just use a knife and cut the wax into sections and pry it out. You're going to get dirty because there's black on the inside. Um, but then when you have one empty, um, you just keep putting the wax into another one. I microwave it. You can also set it in a pot of boiling water and just keep adding the wax. But I'm just doing this really fast. so. Um, I've just been microwaving it. So this one I still have to dig out and add into the melted wax. And then once you do that, you can use a washer. This is actually a piece of jewelry that had broken and pieces went everywhere. And, and I had some of these little metal um, rings left and just some cotton thread. If it's a short candle you're gonna remake and pour into something small, um, something like this, I just use an old birthday candle. And once it sets really well, I just put it down into the candle and that works real, real well. But um, you just tie the string onto a spoon and you're going to set it on top like this. Drop it down into the bottom and this is going to be your new wick. And I'll go ahead and put it all together and show you how it's done. Okay guys, this is what it looks like when you're done. I took three candles, dug them all out, melted them down and pour them into this one. I have a wooden spoon with cotton thread hooked to it. And like I said, if you have one like this, a small one, you can use just little birthday candles um, as your wick inside and that works really well. So I have this set up. The weight is on the bottom, keeping it in. So when you try and center it, you know, as well as possible, it's gonna wiggle around just a little bit. But um, dip your cotton thread in the wax and then put it down in there. You want the, um, the tip of the wax or the cotton thread that's coming out to be covered in wax also. And then once it has completely set, you can undo it. You can clip the cotton thread and you have another candle. So this one is not all the way full. It's maybe three quarters full and it's a blend of a couple of different scents. But I always buy these when they're on clearance or from the dollar store. So this is the um, a better quality of the candle. These are some of the better home and gardens. Um, candles and like I said I always get them on on clearance but um, it, it works it works really well and you're not just throwing away that last little bit of wax and you know you end up with some pretty cool scents at the end because you just mixed a couple of things together if you want it striated and different scents as it burns through you can pour one let it sit pour the next one, let it sit, pour the next one, let it sit, and you could have multiple layers of scents that, um, that burn one at a time instead of just mixing them all together. I just mixed all these together because I'm in a hurry and uh, I'm doing other things today. So I hope this video helps you guys. I hope you have a great day.